learning window. The above words that you explained through your actions are called verbs. A verb is a word that tells us something about a person or a thing. A verb may tell us about a physical action, mental action, state of being, what a person or thing is, or what someone owns. Examples: I ate a banana for breakfast. Physical action. We guess the answer correctly. Mental action. Whale is the largest mammal on Earth. State of being. Rena has a lovely bag. Ownership. According to their functions, verbs are of two types: action verbs. Verbs that describe activities, actions, and happenings are called action verbs. The action can be physical or mental. Examples: Let's eat bananas. We shall celebrate Christmas tomorrow. Linking verbs. Verbs that describe what someone or something is or is like are called linking verbs. Examples: Be and its forms is, am, are, was, were, be, been, being. Look, smell, sound, grow, keep, remain, taste, stay, become, appear, feel, estimate, judge. Linking verbs are also called being verbs because they express a state of being or what something or someone is like. A linking verb is different from an action verb because it does not really express an action. In fact, it does what its name suggests. It links the subject with other words like a noun or an adjective in the sentence that tells us more about the subject. Examples: Radha is very excited today. She appears happy. Helping verbs. Verbs that are used with an action verb and help it to form tenses, ask questions and show necessity, possibility, etc. are called helping verbs. Helping verbs are also called auxiliary verbs. The types of helping verbs are as follows: Forms of be is, am, are, was, were. Forms of have have, has, had. Forms of do do, did, does. Modal verbs. will could should can may etc examples i was studying in the afternoon helps to form a tense did you finish your homework forms a question i do not study at night forms a negative sentence i can finish my homework shows ability he could drive a car shows possibility transitive verbs read these sentences 1 the driver stopped 2 the boy caught These sentences are incomplete as they require some object to complete their meaning. The highlighted verbs in these sentences are called transitive verbs. Transitive verbs usually need to be followed by an object, usually a noun or a pronoun, to make complete sense. Therefore, if we complete the above sentences, they will appear like this: one, the driver (subject) stopped (transitive verb), the car (object). Two, the boy (subject) caught (transitive verb) the ball (object) in transitive verb. Now read these sentences: Maya slept soundly. Two, the birds flew away. Three, he laughed again. The highlighted verbs in the above sentences do not require an object to make complete sense. These verbs are called intransitive verbs. An intransitive verb is an action verb. that does not require an object to make complete sense